Well, hello there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like learning a few new essential oil recipes today? Come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, it's June. It's the beginning of June. So what does that mean? Well, it means that my Simply Earth recipe subscription box for the month of June is here. And there are five or six new recipes in here, summer recipes that I think are fun that will help you incorporate essential oils into your daily life easily. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's see which recipes I can whip up for you for today and what Simply Earth has in store for us for the month of June. Let's get to it. Jumping on into this box, each month you're going to receive what I'm gonna call a newsletter and it is all the fun facts about each month's box and all of the contents. This month's, which is June, the theme is DIY diffusers. How fun is that? It's gonna tell you which oils you get, which extras you have, and which recipes Simply Earth is teaching you for that month. This month, Simply Earth, we've got six new recipes here. We've got a spiced summer potpourri bark, an almond joy roll on. How about a sweet mint diffuser blend? We've got a candy clove gel air freshener and a blossom reed diffuser. I love a good reed diffuser. And lastly, we've got a DIY Fit Diffuser Keychain. Each month, Simply Earth is gonna provide you with a sticker sheet. Now, these are the labels for each of the oils here and each of the recipes that they provided on the recipe cards. The oils Simply Earth has sent us this month, let's start off with anise star, peppermint, we've got a clove, and a Fit Blend. Some of the extras that Simply Earth has provided us this month. Yeah, this reed diffuser bouquet. Look at how pretty that is. We've got some flowers, some stems. We've got the bamboo sticks. They've provided us with these wood beads for the DIY keychain diffuser. And this is a new one for me. Five years of being with Simply Earth, I'm still getting new products. This natural stabilizer. It's an oil. Are you ready to whip up some recipes? Let's start off with the spiced summer potpourri bark. Because I'm using the microwave and not the double broiler method to melt down my beeswax and my coconut oil, I am using a microwave safe bowl. And to this bowl, I'm going to add two tablespoons of Simply Earth's beeswax pellets. Now these are provided to you in the bonus box that you will receive every six months for free that is valued at $50. And it gives you some of the essentials that you need to do some of the recipes like this one here today. So to this bowl again, two tablespoons of these beeswax pellets. We're also gonna need two tablespoons of a solidified coconut oil. That is a solid coconut oil that can be melted down and will re-solidify. Again, this is something you will receive in your bonus box every six months. I'm gonna melt this down and I'm gonna do it in small increments of 15 seconds, stirring in between each just to really get this good and melted down and well incorporated. To this oil, I'm gonna add 10 drops of the clove essential oil, 10 drops of the peppermint, how about five of the anise star essential oil, and I am, I'm gonna go with 20 of the Fit Essential Oil Blend. 
I'm gonna give this a good stir to incorporate those oils in with the beeswax and the coconut oil. You wanna add your oils after you've melted down your wax and your coconut oil. Now, if you don't have a silicone mold, you can use some parchment paper and line a cooking pan with it. But because I have a Simply Earth silicone mold that I've had in my stash from previous boxes, that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna add my blend to this. And to this oil, it says that you can add some potpourri or dried flowers, maybe some cloves or seasoning. And since I have this potpourri, I figured for the decorative feature, I'd add a couple things from this pack here. I'm gonna go ahead and let this re-solidify. I might speed up the process a bit by placing it in the fridge for about 15 minutes. It's been about a half an hour and I think we're pretty well solidified. And would you look at there, we have got, oh my goodness, this smells amazing. This is guaranteed if you were to place this on a plate or a soap dish in the bathroom, something decorative, it is definitely going to leave your bathroom or whatever room you have it in smelling amazing. How about I show you just how easily you can do a roll on one of my favorite recipes to get each month. And this month we're getting an Almond Joy roll on blend. For this, you will need one of these roll on bottles. You're gonna get six of these in your bonus box, again, that you receive every six months, specifically for these roll on recipes. The roll-on insert pops on out. To this roll-on bottle, I'm gonna add one drop of the Anise Star essential oil. And I'm gonna go with two drops of the Fit. I'm gonna fill the rest of this bottle up with some of Simply Earth's fractionated coconut oil. That is a liquid coconut oil. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the roll-on spout, place my cover on there, give this a nice shake, incorporating those oils in with the fractionated coconut oil, making us an Almond Joy roll-on. Simply Earth, well, they've thought of everything. They've provided us a label for this roll-on bottle that fits perfectly. Yep, just like that. Now when using these, it's best to place it in your pulse points and I like to place it right here in my wrist. That's the easiest one. We've got a candy clove gel air freshener. Now with a recipe like this, you're gonna see the items that Simply Earth has provided you in this month's box. And you're also gonna see a list of some of the items that you will need from home. It just so happens that I have these items, so I am going to whip this recipe up and show you how you can make a gel air freshener. This recipe does call for some gelatin, and I do, I had these in my baking stash, so this is what I'm using today. We're gonna need two tablespoons of gelatin. Oh, that equals, so each pack is one tablespoon. So we'll just pour this right on in there. To this gelatin, I'm gonna add two cups of distilled water, and I don't think this bowl is big enough. I'm gonna give this a good mix, and it says to let this bloom for about two or three minutes. Alrighty, so it has been about three to five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds, and I'm gonna stir and whisk until the gelatin is fully dissolved. To this gelatin, I'm going to add a whopping 30 drops of the Fit Essential Oil Blend. Five drops of the Anise Star. And five drops of the Clove. This recipe calls for 64 drops of this natural stabilizer. 
We're gonna give this a good mix. And I'm gonna give this more of a stir. Dollar Tree has these really cool jars that have a lid on them. And I thought that this would be perfect for this gel air diffuser. So I'm gonna take this blend and hopefully I don't spill it. And I'm gonna pour it on into this jar. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Oh, and it's perfect for this. And this is going to be placed in the refrigerator. I'm gonna let this set for a couple hours and I'll meet you back here when it has solidified. <laughs> And look at that. I'm pretty excited. It is a gel air freshener in this jar. It is very fragrant. And I've even got a lid to try and preserve some of that scent. I like that the color, the mica color separated and some went to the bottom. I like that it's kind of a ombre two-toned. This came out pretty cool and what a neat DIY. Next up, how about a DIY Fit Diffuser Keychain? Simply Earth has provided us with everything we need to make this fun keychain. The string, the beads. I'm gonna take this string, I'm gonna tie a knot on one end of it. So I can tie this other end here to the keychain. How stinking cool is that? We have got a really cool keychain. Now to these wood beads, that's where you're going to add your essential oils. And for this one, I'm gonna say you can really add any of them. The recipe calls for the fit essential oil, but I really like peppermint. So I'm gonna go with what I like because this is a DIY. We take what we like, we leave what we don't, right? And I'm gonna add my drops of peppermint. The wood beads are going to absorb it. Oh my goodness, can I tell you, this is so fragrant. I'm gonna put this in my car and it is gonna make my car smell amazing. Who doesn't love a good reed diffuser? This month, Simply Earth is providing us with a recipe for a blossom reed diffuser. You're gonna need a jar of some sort, and I went digging in my stash. I had this salt and pepper shaker from Dollar Tree that I think is going to work perfect, minus the lid. To this jar, I'm gonna add an ounce of distilled water. Now, working with essential oils, you should always use distilled water because that's what works best with essential oils. To this water, I'm gonna add five drops of the clove essential oil. I'm gonna go with five drops of the peppermint. One drop of the anise star. And we are gonna need 23 drops of the natural stabilizer. And to this liquid concoction here, we're gonna add the reed bouquet, these diffusers. Oh, what a fun, fun, fun recipe. Look at how stinking cute that is. You really don't need a jar much bigger than this one. If you wanna double or triple your recipe, you can to fill up the jar but because there is bamboo, the bamboo is going to get infused with the essential oil mixture here, and it is going to infuse into whatever room you place your diffuser in. And if you wanna add a sticker to the jar, you can do that too. I love it. I personally love a good diffuser. This diffuser stays in my craft room and I always love a good new recipe. Each month, Simply Earth does provide you with a new diffuser recipe. To this, I am gonna add more of that distilled water since we've got a bottle of it. And I'm gonna do that to the fill line. This blend calls for three drops of the peppermint, three drops of the clove, 
and three drops of the anise star. And that's all there is to this diffuser blend. I'm gonna turn this on. And just like that, you're gonna see that it instantly starts diffusing this. Wow, it smells amazing. Oh my word, I really love the smell of the clove and the peppermint mixed together. Wow, this might be my new favorite diffuser recipe. That was a fun box. I love all of those fun summer recipes teaching me how to incorporate essential oils into my daily life easily. That's what I honestly love most about Simply Earth is that I don't have to scour the internet trying to find recipes on how to use each of the oils safely because each month Simply Earth sends us four new oils and six new recipe cards this month teaching us how to use those oils. Absolutely love it. If you're interested in receiving one of Simply Earth's monthly recipe subscription boxes, well guess what? You can find the link to my coupon code in the description box below where you will receive a $40 gift card via email after you've ordered your first recipe subscription box. So that really is buy one, get one free. It's a win-win. I love everything about Simply Earth because not only have they taught me over the last five years how to incorporate essential oils into my life, but 13% of their proceeds goes toward the battle of human trafficking, which is a cause that I love. I hope you all enjoyed today's unboxing of Simply Earth's June subscription box. If you'd like to see more of what Simply Earth has to offer, save from some past unboxings, well guess what? You can click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of their past recipes. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day incorporating essential oils into your daily life. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive please, because I am. Bye for now everybody.